Howdy ho, neighborinos. We're here today for the next week of the UPA. I don't remember what week it is, dude. We've had two weeks off. It's been a whole big thing, you know? But we're playing our good pal JB. Definitely check him out. The man is killing it. He's been blowing up lately. Uh, literally fucking, you know, top one and a half favorite people in the community for sure. Um, it's the fucking homie, you know? So we uh, every time we fight, we kind of have this running joke that every time we fight, we take turns winning. So like whether it be every other time or you get two, I get two or two, one, one, two, basically. It always ends up balancing out. I don't remember where we are in the cycle, but no matter, like, wherever the last one ended, this is just going to pick up from, you know what I mean? So, like, we're always fucking going to be just either beating or losing to each other pretty fairly, you know? But, uh, looking at his team, it is pretty fucking scary. This man straight up was like, let me get the, uh, Gen 7 special, you know? <laughs> but with G-Max Blastoise, thank god he can't shell smash, I can protect myself from at least a plus two, plus two, plus two full-blown cannonades, which would be just fucking horrible you know <laughs> but uh, if you do look at his team obviously you can already see mine but if you look at his uh koku's gonna be a huge threat i don't think he can bring choice i don't think he can bring calm mind i think he's got to be like bulky pivot kind of thing like you turn taunt nature's madness either wild charger t-bolt or volts but you know what i mean lottie is actually super annoying but luckily our g max pokemon deals with that pretty nicely as well as our second biggest threat on the team here Let's, who am I kidding, dude? It's Dracovish, dude. It's a fucking threat, you know? But we are Scarfed this week to be able to outspeed that. Then, um, Incineroar can be annoying with Intimidate and whatnot, but if you want to bring a Fire-type versus the fucking versus Dracovish, you go for it, you know? Uh, Roserade is also pretty good versus me. It just hits so hard. It hits a lot of my stuff super effectively. It's a good, good thing to have in here. It kind of beats Rillaboom. It kind of beats fucking Steelix uh, to an extent. Uh, kind of beats fucking out creamy if I can't G max up. It just does a lot of damage. I got to be careful of it. Not too worried about Aggron or Bufalon or Cramorant. Blastoise is going to be, it's definitely coming. It's a G max one. Now, Drift Bloom is something I got to be really scared of because Drift Bloom, Drift, Drift, Bloom, Bl Drift Bloom is, uh, if it gets plus two and it starts setting up in my face, there might not be a lot I can do about it. You know what I mean? Like, I kind of have to. Uh, keep it off if it comes I have to keep it offensively pressured so that it doesn't just get to plus two and like get a calm mind up and sweep me you know what I mean so that could potentially not be fun if I do see it at team preview I have to preserve my uh, G Max all creamy probably to be able to eat the hit and then be able to fire back at that thing and hopefully kill it or at least weaken it to put it in range of fucking something you know what I mean but the idea behind the team this week is that I needed to get rid of Lottie as early as possible, kill that little fucker, because Dragon Dance Steelix is in, and it's a, it's, dude, it's a jolly Steelix, okay? It's as fast as it can be, you know what I mean? So, at plus one, we actually outspeed a minus one from the webs, Tapu Koko, uh, that is creeping Azelf. Now, that means that's the fastest thing on his team, so if we can start setting up some fucking boosty boosts, then... Uh, we can outspeed, we can do huge damage with Fire Fang, Iron Head, and Thunder Fang with the sheer force. Potentially terrain boosted Thunder Fang. Uh, Fire Fang to be able to hit, oh, you know, uh, Agron, maybe? Uh, what was that? What else was it for? Why do I even have fucking Fire? I'm looking at this right now. Oh, Buzzwool, that's what it was. It's the hardest thing I'd hit Buzzwool with, right? I'm like, well, am I dumb, you know? Uh... But yeah, he's been, JB's been going through this weird phase where he's been losing to a lot of, like, low-tier Pokemon. Like, he'll, so if, if the game versus me was a game that happened last week, what would have happened was he would have somehow narrowly avoided losing to Dracovish and Rillaboom, but he would, he would get swept by fucking Steelix, you know? So I was like, you know what, let's lean into that a little bit. Let's bring Dragon Dance, Life Orb, Steel, Sheer, Force, Steelix, and let's do some things. Lottie's super annoying, though, because since we can't get it, you know, affected by webs, we do have to uh, get two Dragon Dances up, which is going to be hard because it's a fucking Steelix, you know, so um, we got to do what we got to do. Next, we have Bukeki, the El Creamy G-Max, and uh, that's going to be speed for minus one Coco and just the rest in Fizz Def because he's got a lot of physical attackers, uh, Buzzwolf, Memo, Incineroar, Agron, Bufalon, uh, you know. A bunch of other stuff can be mixed or whatnot, but mostly those. We do want to have as much Fizz Def as possible. Uh, we only need two coverage moves this week, which means we can run 
Calm Mind and Recover, which is super nice. I can set up versus, uh, depending on his Blastoise set, I can set up in front of that. I can potentially set up in front of a Latias, you know, all that good stuff. Then we have Vicavolt here with the Levitate ability, Heavy Duty Boots. Rising Voltage is really nice this week. Even though we don't technically get the Terrain Boost, we still do a dick load of damage to most things. Everything not named uh, Memo Swine, basically. Uh, webs are really nice for everything except for Coco and Boots and Cineroar. I guess Drift Bone too, but fuck that guy. Um, Volt Switch Pivot, really, really nice. Bug Buzz, be able to hit that Lottie so that even it, like, I guess he can still calm mind in my face. But at the end of the day, as long as I prevent him, as long as I keep him in range of uh, Dracovich, it should be fine. So if he is calm mind, that just means we know he's not Choice Scarf, which is amazing. And he can't really, it's hard to pick a berry to run on Lottie this week because if he's Colber, uh, I can't hit him with Crunch. If he is Haban, I can't hit him with Outrage. But he's kind of got to pick between the two, and I do have both. So if I start kind of, if he starts, you know, setting up in front of something that I think it might kind of give away the berry, uh, maybe I can kind of pick which button to click. You know what I mean? Speaking of which, we got the threat himself. Choice Scarf Dracovish. I think I've brought Banded like every single week until right now. Fishy Boy Rend, Outrage, Facade, and Crunch. I just figured there's a good chance that we might end up taking a Scald. We might end up taking a Will-O-Wisp or something like that. So I wanted to have Facade just in case. We can still, even if we get burned, we're still able to do some Choice Scarf damage. But like Fishy Boy Rend has no, has no immunities. So it's just going to claim some fucking kills this game. It's straight up. It just does so it dude to um not max biz def but just whatever the set is in the calc we do 60 percent to blastoise so obviously if he's g maxed it'd be about 30 but with a little bit of chip 60 and then g maxing into 30 we can have a chance to kill if we have like rocks up maybe a little bit of u-turn damage or something off on that boy so that could be cool um dracovish just goes in man then we have Life Orb, Rillaboom, U-Turn, Grassy Glide, High Horsepower, and Acrobatics. I was kind of worried about Buzzwall coming, which, and I mean, I guess it is kind of a tough Buzzwall matchup because it is really nice for the Rillaboom. It is really nice. It can probably live a hit from, it's one of the few things that can probably live a hit from uh, Fishy Boy here. But then it also means that uh, Alcremie and Azolf hit it super effectively, and those are also pretty big, threats, pretty big threats on my team, you know? So... Uh, I can hit everything on his team super hard with this. It's just life orb, just jolly, just as much attack and just fucking speed. And we're just going to be smacking things around, you know? Last but not least, we have Choice Scarf Azelf once again. I don't know what it is about Choice Scarf Azelf, but it always seems to be so nice as sixth mon on my teams. Rocks, T Bolt, Psychic, U turn. Uh, just we're in here to get chip. U turn out. Psychic Thunderbolt hits his team really, really, really hard. <laughs> Excuse me. And uh, yeah, man, we live anyone hit. Any one hit from Coco that isn't like uh, choiced or whatever. And like I said, I don't think you can even bring choiced. But we live wild charges. We live uh, U turns, thunderbolts, that whole, all the all the whole regular roll we live in, boys. And listen, this is the time where I tell you something about me that no one should ever know. So I'm going to keep it real with you, Chief. You've sat through this team builder. If you're part of team builder gang, bro. You deserve to hear this. Within one week from where I'm recording this, within one week ago, I have come within 12 seconds of shitting my pants. That's just how it is, dude. I was doing stuff. I'll talk about it on the podcast, obviously, but I was doing stuff and I trusted a fart. And boy, oh boy, let me tell you, seconds mere seconds away from shitting my pants barely made it 27 year old adult barely fucking made it guys so that's going to be the secret for today but uh really hope we can do some damage with steelix all creamy looks fucking fantastic this game if i can get up a calm mind even the stuff that hits me super effectively isn't really going to do too much damage to me uh especially since you know agron can't use like heavy slam and stuff uh Vicavolt, the webs aren't really necessary, but they are annoying for him, so that's kind of nice because his spinner, obviously his Blastoise, we hit that super effectively. His defogger, his Lottie, we hit that super effectively. I guess he can be defog Coco, that gives us rising voltage damage on shit though, so it's not, uh, and fucking Cramorant, first of all, is barely a Pokemon, and it, it's not coming versus versus double electric, there's no way. Uh, Dracovish, can't wait to click the button. Uh, Rillaboom could potentially win. A lot of stuff doesn't really want to deal with this, especially if webs are up. And last but not least, Azelf just looks so good for like a just click and psychic late game if like Incineroar's not there. 
and uh, I really just wanted to have something to outspeed that Coco. So hopefully he does not have like Scarf Coco and just completely bait the fuck out of me. But that's going to be the team. I will see you guys in the battle versus our good pal, James. All right, here we are with the battle versus JB. I'm gonna tell him to have fun. Land fucking sucks. We're doing 20 minute timer. He brought a Buffle on. Oh my God, he, this man brought Buffles. Um, we got Latias, Blastoise. G-Max Blastoise, uh, Roserade, um, Mamo, Coco, and Boofles. This man actually brought Boofle on. So, um, if you didn't watch the team builder, you can see everything here, obviously. Um, he's been losing to a lot of low tier Pokemon, so I figured I'd try to go for a Dragon Dance Steelix type thing, you know? <laughs> Why the heck not? Um... He did bring three fish resists, which is unfortunate. Um, we're going to have to break through those. We're Scarf, not Banded. I think I just want to lead with, like, Vicavolt. I don't think he can kill me with anything. So I'm going to lead Vicavolt. I'm going to try to get up webs early. His, if his defogger is Lottie, that means it's probably not, like, Calm Mind or something, which could be annoying. So let's try to get our webs up right off the bat. See if we can do that. Bars? Well, that might be a little bit loud. Sweet. No Buzzwool is nice. No Incineroar is nice. No Drift Bloom. You know. He's going to lead Tapu Coco. Okay, so if he has the Taunt, he can easily click it here. Um, he can easily click it here. I can also go for the Rising Voltage and just get some damage, but I think I just click webs and see what happens. This is a 20 minute timer, we gotta try to click relatively fast. He goes for Nature's Madness, okay. We're gonna get up our webs. Now I'm going to, I think I'm gonna Volt Switch out. He shouldn't be able to kill me, and I can go into uh, a few different things. Go for that Gleam, we live. Go for that Volt Switch. Um, he's got a little bit of bulk to him. That does about regular damage. Um. We go to Fishy Boy. I'm just going to throw off a Fishy Boy Rend. He's going to be forced to go into his Blastoise. Um, to something. Either Blastoise or Lottie for sure. Bro, why is this still lagging? Are you kidding me? And Tabu Coco goes down. Okay. <laughs> you love to see it. You love to see it. That is what we actually kind of wanted to set up on with our Steelix. But uh, we can probably get away with uh, something else. He does go into Blastoise. Um, let's see. Blastoise G Max. If G Max is up, how much is he taking from us? He takes 30%. Um, dude, that's a lot. I'm gonna save this. Definitely gonna save this, and I think I'm gonna go right on into Bukeki. If he does wanna do the thing. If he does wanna G-Max right off, we should be able to, uh, eat it up. Oh, it goes for Rapid Spin. That's smart. Smart. Very, very smart. I'm gonna throw off a Calm Mind. Oh, he's getting big. Oh no. Depending on 
how much speed he, does, he has, this could go quite poorly for me. <laughs> but at least we'll be plus one at the end of the day. He's going to do about half if he goes right for Cannonade and outspeeds me. We go for Calm Mind first. You'll love to see it. So this is still going to do a lot. That did not a lot. Okay, so he is definitely defensive. Definitely defensive. Definitely defensive. So we got lefties. We're about to spam some... Uh, some what's it called, you know? Electricity disappears. Sweet. So we can just go ahead and Dynamax. Go for GMAX Finale. Get some health back. Uh, do a fuckload to this. He might be like Assault Vest or something. I could easily see Assault Vest. is very speedy, so we could actually get up our webs versus Bouffalant later if we want. Go for GMAX Finale. Yeah, I feel like that's definitely going to be Assault Vest. Um, actually, 30 to 36 is just normal damage. We take just a little bit. But as, as I said, getting damage off on this is huge. GMAX Finale, baby. Meet me in the mall. And uh, just a tiny bit more chip and he's in range of Vish. Just a tiny bit more chip and he is in range of Vish. So he does get small. Does he just sack this? Does he just sack this? Mindstorm. I think I just click, I just click finale. Regardless, uh, finale will kill. He does withdraw. Out into Ruby, Ruby Rose raid. Nice. So I'm just going to throw off the third and final GMAX finale. I will be back at full, I believe, after this hit. That does half, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> so, uh, Blastoise was at like 35%, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he is Black Sludge. We're hurt by the Cannonade, but we get our lefties. Um, we do live the Sludge Bomb, and we can take this out with Psychic right now. He does go for the Sludge Bomb. Psychic takes out Ruby Rosa Raid. We get lefties, we're still at plus one. We don't have the most speed, but we do have some. Uh, he can pretty much take us out with, uh, yeah, with Metal Swan. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Um, do I just sack this? I think I just sack this, yeah. Let's go for the Gleam. Just for some reason, if we're fucking faster. Yeah, he does just EQ. Oh, Creamy goes down to Mammo. Is I four? No. Okay, so we're going to go hard out into Rillaboom. Hard out into Rillaboom. Oh, dude, he's definitely going to be... Uh, he's going to be Sap Zipper, right? So, uh, Ice Shard does a lot. 
you know? Um, I think we just have to go for U-turn here. I think we just have to go for U-turn, honestly. Oh, he stays in. Oh, no. We do show that we're Life Orb. So I guess I gotta go into... He's definitely clicking, like, Icicle Crash here, right? Or, yo, if he's banded... Do I need webs? Do I need webs? Not really. So let's go into What's Up Ocean. If he just clicks Earthquake, then we'll know he's banded or Scarf or something. Well, he, he would be, you know. He goes for the Freeze Dry. Okay, I'm very, very glad I didn't go into Vish there. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, so we said Vicka Volt to Mamo. Okay. <laughs> that would that would have gone very quite poorly. Now we go back out into Vish, and we get us a kill. Blastoise is in range. Latias might be, depending. But we just click us a nice fishy boy rend. I don't know why I went into Rillaboom in the first place. Honestly, I should have just gone right into this. But hey, at least we'll get some passive recovery. Mamo goes down to Vish. He's got Boofles, Lottie, and Blastoise left. So he has to go Lottie here, I think. If he goes Lottie, I'm going to be very tempted to just stay in and go for, uh, go for the move. He definitely goes Lottie here. He goes Squirts. All right, bro. You think you live, bro? You think you live? I'm clicking it. <laughs> he didn't live. Okay, so he's got Lottie and Boofles. Lottie and Boofles left. There's the Lottie. Um, let's see here. I switch out, for sure. I think he just goes for Dragon Move, right? So I could go into Azelf and U-Turn, but I think I'm going to go Crimson Chin and just attempt to get off an attack. Because uh, Fishy Boy wins at this rate. Goes for D-Pulse. I wonder if he's Scarf. He's Life Orb. Yikers. That boy is Life the Fuck Orb. Okay. Um, so he either goes for Surf or Mystical Fire here, right? He goes for Surf or Mystical f Fire. Do I go back into Vish? He made a really solid prediction and didn't click that. Uh... Yeah, let's just click Iron Head and see. I'm probably going to die to Mystical Fire here, yeah. So Steelix goes down to Lottie. I just couldn't risk him clicking like Draco there or some shit. He is fucking so strong. <laughs> just so strong. Um, yeah, now we go right back out into Vish, I think. Outrage kills, Crunch... What was that for? Oh, okay. I thought that was the sound of my controller dying. Crunch has a chance to kill, but Outrage definitely kills. He's only taking... He's only taken... Two rounds of Life Orb? Three rounds of Life Orb? He's at 80%. Yeah, Crunch doesn't kill, but Outrage should. We'll click it. Lottie dies to Vish. And it's going to come down to how much damage we can do versus Bufalant. That is a whole ass Bufalant. Can we just outrage? Hopefully, two KOs. Barely? Maybe? No, we get confused. Okay. Retaliate? Oh no. <laughs> oh, we live. Nice. 
Okay, so I kind of want to save Vish here, and I think I'm just going to go out into, uh... Let's see here. So Outrage did right about half. Uh, Psychic actually doesn't kill. But Vish does guarantee this kill. So we'll sack Buddy the Azelf here. Goes for Iron Head. And we just click us a nice Psychic. Who hits? Dude, who hits? But you know what that means, boys. Fishy Boy comes right back in and clicks him a fucking rend. Fishy boy rend. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, great game to JB. That fucking... <laughs> Dude, Lottie's so strong. I was like, oh, he's going to be defensive with like Haban or Colbert or something. No, that man straight up brought fucking Life Orb and just destroyed the one thing I wanted to win with. But, uh... hey, we didn't go to timer. Dude, we didn't go to timer. <laughs> go us. Um... Yeah, man, I overplayed with Rillaboom. Uh, kind of sacked shit unnecessarily. I should have just gone into Vish. Would have uh, probably saved some differential points. But hey, dude, when you're... I'm already bad on Wi-Fi, you know? And then when you got to think even faster on 20-minute timer, it just wasn't what I wanted it to be. I was thinking, like, oh, I'll force him out. But, yeah, what are you going to do, man? So, like, subscribe, do all that bullshit. Thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you've been enjoying these new these newfound team builders we've been running. You know, uh, I think it's going to be our, uh, our new niche type thing. Um... Is it niche or niche? I don't know. I've never known. Comment question of the day. Is it niche or niche? Is it... Am I just a little son of a niche? Who knows? Okay, like I said, bye forever.